in, in your experience in North Carolina cases, I mean, um, it, how strict is the contributor, contributory negligence scheme? I mean, because it seems to me like it's relatively rare when you have a case that's clear cut, you know, just this one individual or entity is completely at fault for everything. It seems like just real circumstances are a little bit more complicated than that. So, so how, how, how strictly applied is just in, in practice is this thing? Well, it's going, to, it's going to be, if a case goes to trial, the, whether the plaintiff was contributory negligent is a question of fact. Mm -hmm. So the jury decides that. So the jury hears the evidence, and those 12 people on that jury are going to determine whether or not the, uh, uh, the plaintiff was at fault. And then, see, in North Carolina, if you have a jury trial, the juries are going to be asked one question, and that's just say, did the plaintiff contribute to the accident, was contrib uh, contributory to the accident in any way? They don't have to assign any percentage to it. All if they answer that question yes, the case is over. The plaintiff doesn't get anything. If they answer the question no, uh, then the plaintiff will get everything. Uh, in in that similar case in North Carolina, if there was a defense raised of comparative negligence, again the jury will be asked to assign a percentage of how much they think the plaintiff was negligent in the case, and and, and that becomes a question of fact. And again, it becomes in terms of helping the jury along how well the attorney can present the evidence to the jury and make a plausible argument as to why the plaintiff was only X percent at fault here. Uh, it's somewhat from the facts. If it's, if it's clear that there was some fault from the plaintiff, it's, 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 it's better to admit that up front but kind of minimize it right. as best you can. Uh, in North Carolina, it's a little different. We have to fight it tooth and mm -hmm. nail. And, and that's why in, in North Carolina, to be honest, we have to scrutinize the accident before we even file the lawsuit right. to see if this is going to be an issue mm -hmm. because it is a hard and fast issue. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the judge has no leeway in it. It's what the jury decides. Right. And if the jury decides, hey, the, you know, the plaintiff uh, should have done this or should have done that, so I'm going to say they were at fault as well, then the judge is going to just say that you were contributory and negligent and you're not going to recover. Right. Uh, and in South Carolina, we can, it's not scientific in any way. Uh, it's how well you can persuade the jury and argue the position. 